Aloha, my name is Alfred Ballara. I live in Hawaii. I'm married, have three kids, all grown, and I'm 62 years old. I work in the seed industry. <clears throat> I'm making this uh, video today in order to alert people to the timeshare scam being operated by Walmart by Wyndham. Now we have owned the timeshare since 2006 when it was run by Trend West. At some stage, it appeared that Worldmark took this over, or so I think. And so, then we have been owners with Worldmark, apparently. Anyway, we were using it on vacation in October 2017 when some sales reps invited us to attend the owner's educational seminar. They assured us that this was not a sales meeting, but simply an hour-long informational seminar as to how to best use our points. <laughs> uh, and we had always wanted to know how to use our points better, since we could never use them all. So we accepted to go, and what do you think? It was a high-pressure sales meeting, and it went on for four hours. They absolutely lied to us. Okay. Now, as I said, we already own this timeshare, which was taken over by Worldmark. But we had not been happy with the new ownership for a long time. For start, uh, in 12 years, we had only been able to use it maybe about seven times. Uh, there have never been enough units available at the times we wanted and also we could never get units which went into the weekends the most we could ever stay was five days mm. Mm. previous reps had told us that family members could always use the resort but when we attempted to make a booking for our daughter we had to haggle on the phone with the management before she could use it, making it a very unpleasant experience and also making us wonder why we had bothered to become owners in the first place. Also, we recall that a few years ago, we went to a similar sales meeting and at that time, we did not purchase any points. Hmm. On that occasion, the rep was on the verge of being belligerent as he kept lowering the price and the quantity that he said we needed to buy. <laughs> By doing this, he turned our vacation into a stress-filled ordeal. So for all the above reasons, we did not want to buy any more timeshare stuff. However, this time the rep started in on this pitch, on this pitching, on his, on their pitching, and uh, we found it hard to get away. I have type 2 diabetes and I was feeling really tired that morning. I was tired from the plane flight from Hawaii to Los Angeles, and then we had driven all the way to Las Vegas, arriving that evening before the seminar. As a result, I was exhausted and I was unable to focus on what was happening. And they took advantage of this and pressured us into buying time share points. Hmm. Okay. Basically, my biggest grievance with all these points is that I bought them, but Worldmark does not really provide any means to use them. There are many times in the past when we wanted to, a place to stay near Disneyland in Anaheim, but there never were rooms available. Our Las Vegas trips were always cut short because we could never get more than five days. They always had the weekends blocked off. Uh, I looked at these points as a service that we bought but which they never provided when we needed it and now because of the way the timeshare is set up with such limited availability I know that we can never use these points as I said most of the time the rooms were never available 
Another grievance I have is that the reps did not inform me of the existence of the recession period during which I could have canceled this upgrade. This is one of my legal rights, but I had to find out about it myself. And by then, it was too late. You know, when you're over there on vacation in Vegas, do you really want to look over a contract after you spent four hours at a high pressure sales meeting? You're tired and you really have all these other things on your agenda to go, you know, visit family, do this with friends and family, so on and so forth. This is so unfair. Another point is that I found out online about Wyndham's deceitful practice. I became so distressed. I decided to dig deeper when I could not get a room for my daughter for nine days. Although we had all these points, I became even more distressed when I came across the article of a whistleblower named Trish Williams and how she said that Wyndham employees were cha charging things to senior citizens' credit cards without their permission. That is when I canceled the Barclays card that they made me reply for. Hmm. I need to protect my me. I need to protect my family. I was not going to wait and find out if they would do that to me. <sighs> I'm going to nip it at the bud. Hmm. Finally, I contacted Walmart with these complaints on March... 2018 and I was contacted by a letter by Judd Edwards sometime in April mm -hmm. uh, he calls himself a senior case specialist and this was a very strange letter he said that I had indicated that I did not wish to talk to anyone at Worldmark I never said anything of that sort why would he invent such a thing if it would help resolve my problems. Of course, I will talk to him or anyone else who can help me. That is why I decided, uh, that's why I re reached out to Worldmark in the first place. However, in the same letter, he gave me email address, his email address, phone number, and he said I should send an email if I could speak to him during the week of April 30th. Uh, well, I contacted him by email uh, and uh, and I said that uh, let's speak during this week and these uh, and these are my times I, I told him when I'm available but he never but he but he was never available and he he never picked up my calls nor has he returned my emails so the bottom line is that I had tried to talk to him but he has not bothered to respond to me uh, until May 11th. And he said that um, uh, we set up a meeting on May 14th. I called him early in the morning, 8 o'clock, when I should be at work, when all the other times I stated was actually during my lunch hour when I could focus. He knew I was at work, you know. <sighs> And it was early in the morning, and, you know, I earn a living. I work for a living, you know. And in between everything else, you know, I, um, basically what he said is that um, I've signed the papers, and I'm responsible. And um, he's not going to listen to my point of view, and it's too bad, tough shit for me, okay? <laughs> That's how Wyndham treats its, uh, its uh, owners. All they're interested is having you sign that paper and keep paying them and and trying as little as possible providing any services. Hmm. Okay, so that is my world market experience. I would not wish this company on my worst enemy. Thank you.